Today, we're going to dive into trust and trusting your co-workers right now. So, so many of you are currently working from home and I've been having this conversation with a lot of clients and with people on my podcast and just with different people that I'm coming into contact with every single day on social media because right now we're in such an interactive and communicative place that it is incredible that you are all reaching out and talking and just dealing with everything that's going on in such an incredible, incredible way. But a topic that keeps coming up time and time again is trust and trust in particular with your co-workers when you are working from home. Because when you're so used to being in that office environment where you can bounce off each other and you can see what people are doing and you can manage your team a lot more effectively, it is, it is better. We won't lie about that. And it is a lot easier when you are in the same space and you are within the same office. But now we've got this new situation and we've got this adaptable situation where you're all working in different places, you're working in different houses and you don't maybe all have the same end goal and the same end vision and the same end alignment. So you start to worry and you start to stress that is someone on your team actually doing the work? Is someone on your team actually going to meet the deadline? Is someone on your team maybe struggling and they're not telling you? Um, and these are really difficult situations that I've had to come up against time and time again. So running an online business and running a business from my front room, I've always been an online worker. So I have a editor and content writer, she's based in the Philippines. I have a personal assistant, she's based south of London and I have a videographer who's based in Scotland. Now I only have three team members, I get you guys are dealing with a lot bigger teams. But things that I've learned that really, really help communication is staying in tune on an app that we use. It's called Monday.com. Now, you've probably got some similar software within your work that you guys are using, but we make sure that every single day we tag every single person in the comments. We really reach out to each other and we keep that open line of communication. We're on WhatsApp together all the time. And then we make sure that we have weekly Skype calls. Now for you guys, you might need to put them in daily. You might need to put them in morning and afternoon. You might actually need to start running just work sessions on Zoom and leave Zoom on so that you're all in that communication environment. With my network marketing business, that's something that we found really, really useful. And we can get 20 to 30 of us on a call at once. And we all just sit and work together for about an hour to two hours, depending upon who's got other calls and stuff coming up. And there are just new adaptable ways that you can maximize this change and actually work it to your advantage. Because I don't know if about you, but quite often I find when I'm actually on big team calls, I like to mute the call itself and focus really on my work. But knowing that they can see me keeps me accountable and keeps me moving forward. If you are struggling with trust with your coworkers, you need to have that open conversation and you need to have that open communication line. If you think someone is maybe not meeting demands or you think someone is struggling personally, then you have to find a way to communicate with them that's not going to be invasive, that is going to allow them to open up and that is allow them to speak to you in a way that is going to help them. We're all here and we're all in this together and we do need to learn how to manage all these situations with a brand new shape, but it is possible to do. and. The trust that you will build through just using small tweaks, keeping that line of communication open and really, really focusing on daily meetups or weekly meetups, you're going to tenfold that relationship and actually probably gain much more success. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope you guys have an incredible day. Keep your heads up, keep smiling. And if you do want to know how I manage this with my network marketing team or with my own business team, then give me a shout because the online space is huge, it's vast and it's ever growing, but you can actually have really good connection and really good trust in your relationships with your workers.